Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Uh, we are looking at a brand new beer now from uh, my local brewery, Stonehouse Brewery. It's part of their Sidelines range. I'm just going to show you the glass, I don't know what I'm going to show you that. But that's what it will be going in. Anyway, we're going in the Stonehouse Sidelines glass. Uh, and what we are looking at is a bottle of their Drover's Pale Ale. And it's coming in at 3.9%. Uh, very sort of, they have sort of similar artwork on most of their bottles. Uh, plain black bottle cap, 500 mil, 3.9 percent, two pound seventy direct from the brewery. Uh, so yeah, it says on the back, pale gold ale, cascade and first gold, give bright citrus, backed by soft floral and spice. Best before, 27 for the third, 24. So there we go. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. I will admit I did have a cheeky one in there uh, while I was down there because I noticed there was a different beer on tap that I'd not had. It was Pale Citrus Pale Ale, 3.8%. So, been a while since I've done one. Let's get this into the glass and see what we get. And incidentally, they've got a few things in the pipeline. But uh, I'm the first one to know, and he said, I said, do I need to get the all clear when I mention it, or can I just say it whenever? He said, oh, just, just say it. Um, but obviously they have all their casks and all that lot. Uh, I think they are looking at doing more sort of cask stuff, so one-offs and what have you. Uh, but they are going into canning. So they do a lot of bottling stuff, which they bought themselves, but they are going into canning. And he did mention the price of canning machines and that, so they are looking at contract canning. So we could be seeing a few of their beers very soon in cans. Because a lot of people prefer the cans as well anyway, don't they? So, let's stop waffling on. Drover's Pale Ale from Stonehouse. And this is their Sidelines beer in a glass. There we go. It's very sort of pale, straw-like in colour. Almost, almost straw-like. Plenty of carbonation going up the middle. We've got a nice thick head there. Uh, I was quite vigorous with the pour. It's kind of mix and match bubbles. Almost fluffy. There is a little bit left in the bottle. So let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. There's a nice little hop aroma. It's malty at the start. Well, I say at the start, it's malty on the nose. We're not drinking it yet. Calm down, Baz. Yeah, a little bit of citrus and there is that little floral sort of note in there whether they they're saying all that on the taste but i certainly sort of get that citrus it's almost citrus is behind the floral sort of notes and it says spice yeah, yeah i suppose there's a spicy element in there it's sort of doing doing everything it says so without further ado let's dive in give stonehouse sidelines drovers pale ale pardon me a try cheers Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice for a light beer. It's got to be said. Uh, body of the beer, 3.9%. It is light. It's easy drinking. But saying that, pouring it with a nice, nice good head on the beer, it does improve it. And it does feel quite full bodied for something so light. Pretty smooth, but it is quite busy in carbonation. And although you do feel that, it doesn't it doesn't ruin it so much because um, you know because it, it's got that sort of malty body. And even though, like I say, it is quite light, it doesn't ruin the beer. So although it's quite busy, it doesn't rip your palate apart with the bubbles. Pretty smooth, pretty soft, like I say, on the taste. Hoppy. You do get the maltiness, obviously, but you do get the hops in this as well. It does have, it almost has that grapefruit sort of feel to it. A little bit of grapefruit in there. It's got a little bit of a bitter tang. 
Uh, so you get that citrus side. For me, the floral side sort of comes out a little bit after. Drinks really well, 3.9%. You could look at it and say body wise, yeah, it's quite light. It's gonna, it's a light sort of beer, but taste wise, it's got plenty of flavour in there for three point nine percent. And yeah, behind the grapefruit, behind that little floral bit, it may even be just as a floral bit's kicking in, but you do get a little spicy edge as well. But it's a nice enough beer. It's got that little. I'm going to say right on the right, 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 right back end of this beer. It does leave you with a, a malty cracker sort of feel to it. It's a nice little drop, that, to be honest. Yep, it's all in there. Yeah, it's a nice little drop. Stonehouse uh, Drover's Pale Ale. Again, you know, you, you have got to take it for what it is. It is 3.9%, but I think for 3.9%, the body's pretty decent. It's got plenty of flavour for that as well. Yeah. goes down well drinks easy maybe feels a little bit stronger than 3.9% you could say but yeah a decent drop so Stonehouse sidelines part of their sidelines range is filling me up with a bit, little bit of gas it's got to be said uh, <laughs> their Drover's Pale Ale coming in at 3.9% that's a nice old tradition it, it's traditional Right, uh, although there's that craft side to it, it's still got that traditional sort of backbone to it. And I always say a lighter beer with that sort of malty backbone to it certainly sort of makes it a better beer for me. So, uh, yeah, Drover's Pale Ale from Stonehouse, part of their sidelines range, like I say, repeating myself, is a nice little drop. Uh, if you've had it before, which I'll be surprised if anyone's watching this has had it before. But, uh, yeah, if you have, let me know what you think. If you're thinking of getting hold of it, you're probably going to have to be local to do that. Uh, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.